Stage on Brisbane's north side. Sporting legends, friends and family. Farewell Gold Coast Ironman legend Dean Mercer. Beating the agony of arthritis, the new Queensland treatment promising a cure. And Queensland gripped by finals fever as the Broncos and Cowboys face a crucial 48 hours. Live from our Brisbane headquarters, this is 7 News with Sharon Gadella and Bill McDonald. We begin tonight with an unfolding earthquake disaster where buildings have been flattened, people buried and a tsunami warning triggered. The quake struck off Mexico's south coast. Tremors could be felt in Mexico City, one of the world's most populated capitals. We know five people are dead, but that number will rise. It came in the middle of the night. Surf lifesavers from all over the country have joined a huge crowd to farewell Ironman champion Dean Mercer on the Gold Coast. The service hearing the 47-year-old father of four was best known for his huge heart that in the ultimate irony caused his sudden death. A man who is hard to match, even harder to catch. Shades of G20 at the airport today. A US VIP jet touches down amid high security. So who was on board? North Korea's H-bomb celebration, but are there more dangerous fireworks ahead? A hurried blast off for a secret space mission before Hurricane Irma hits. And exclusive, cushioning the blow for arthritis sufferers, the Queensland breakthrough. Island clashes broke out overnight at a Catholic church at Ashgrove between opponents and supporters of same-sex marriage. Protesters surrounded cars and blocked the entrance before police intervened. A time for the latest sport now with Pat. Thanks, Sharon. Hello, everyone. The Crows pay a heavy price for victory. They're ready to rumble. The Broncos and Cowboys await mighty finals assignments. And Venus's fairy tale ends as Sloane Stephen survives a Flushing Meadows pressure cooker. Queensland's finals destiny will be shaped this weekend. The Broncos and Roosters face off tonight. The Cowboys and Sharks are trading insults already. Chris Gary's in Sydney. Chris Benji Marshall's crucial for Brisbane before he returns to the Tigers. And you've got some news on who'll replace him. Yes, Pat, Marshall's roster spot is the only one left for the Broncos to fill next year. And Seven News can reveal the two players on their hit list. And that is our sport. Don't forget all the AFL finals on seven, mate, and the racing on seven two tomorrow, which Exciting. I might be tuned into. Oh, Just a bit. Really? <laughs> <You> sure? <laughs> all right, thank you, Paddy. Next, the pain of osteoporosis can be overwhelming. Now the Queensland developed treatment refurbishing worn out joints. And it's looking like a fantastic weekend ahead. All the weather details coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. Checking today's main stories now, a monster 8.1 magnitude earthquake has struck southern Mexico, killing at least five people with the death toll expected to rise. Police are hunting a pair of Gold Coast robbers who went on a brazen crime spree raiding 12 businesses in five hours. And police are praising a woman who found a missing children's hospital patient while on her way to work in the city. Let's have a look at the weekend weather for you now. Here's Paul Burt. Yeah, thanks for that, Bill, and good evening to everybody at home. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday evening. I'm coming to you live from the Swell Sculpture Festival here at Currum. It runs for another week. Some amazing artworks on show. Bring the family down, and tomorrow bring the board and a towel. The beach is looking absolutely amazing. Let's check out today's temperatures across the southeast, where we had a high of 28 for Logan, 27 in the city, and Ipswich, 26 for Redcliffe, and only 23 here on the Gold Coast. Now, the chart shows a high pressure system over South Australia, keeping most of the top half of the country fairly cloud free however that does lie in front of a, a cloud bank pushing from the Kimberley coast down towards Albany and that massive low pressure system still delivering some snow to uh, Tasmania and also to the southern Alps. They've had a fairly good run of snow over the Alps over the past week now. Around the nation sunny for Sydney 9 to 19 partly cloudy for Canberra minus 1 to 15. Storms forecast for Melbourne and Hobart tops of 15 and 13 there. Back to North Queensland now partly cloudy day for the tropics tops of 29 for Cairns 28 for Townsville and 27 for Mackay. 
27 also for Gladstone, Bundaberg, Maryborough and Gympie. 6 to 21 Toowoomba, partly cloudy there. Not far to the Flower Festival. Should be a great one this year as well. In the southeast, mostly sunny. However, do expect a bit of cloud from time to time. 4 to 26 for Ipswich. High of 24, Logan, Sunshine Coast. 23 on the Gold Coast and 22 for Redcliffe. Suburbs, partly cloudy and 25 for Kenmore. 9 to 22 Sandgate. Hello there. And 8 to 25 for Caboolture. On the water, west south westerly winds 20 knots. I'll turn south east by lunchtime. Swells on the rise. In the city, down to 10 tonight. High of 24. Looking great. Ahead, partly cloudy. Sunday, 24. Then in comes that northerly. 31 Wednesday. Still no rain. Ipswich, similar. 26 Sunday. 34 degrees Wednesday. Gold Coast, 24 Sunday. 29 Tuesday. 30 Wednesday in Sunshine Coast. Sunday looking good. And then up comes that northerly of 29 degrees on Wednesday. Good on you, Bertie. That's the news this Friday. Great to have you on board. Enjoy your weekend. From all the team, we hope you have a good night. Good night.